All right, we're talking Wallapop Pack, Buckhorns Baseball. They are the District 2 champions. And uh, Todd Schmalzley, joining us right now, the head coach. Uh, Todd, it's been a special year for you guys. Yeah, it's been a great year. Uh, we got a special group of kids that have worked extremely hard over the years. Uh, we have four kids that have started since they were freshmen that are now seniors. Uh, we have a couple of juniors that have started since they were freshmen. Uh, so we were a young club that's now turned into a veteran club, and uh, you know the kids are certainly playing like it. Of course, uh, going through that Lackawanna League, great competition, but uh, let's talk about that championship game against Crestwood at PNC Field. Yeah, it was a fantastic experience. Our kids were very excited to, uh, to play that game. Uh, they, uh, they went out there, they had a lot of confidence. I think they were actually a little bit more loose than I was. Uh, I certainly had some nerves going before the game, but they, uh, they played a great game. Uh, tremendous pitching job by Austin Gilpin. Uh, Mitchell Greary came in at the end and, and threw the ball well as well. Uh, and we got some timely hits. We drew a couple of walks, drew, got a couple of timely hits to, to score a few one, runs. So, uh, you know, it was certainly a nice outing for us. Uh, pitching has kind of been there all year long. Talk about the, having some arms this year. Always helps, huh? Yeah. No, they, uh, we, we've got four guys that we think we can count on to go out there and win us any given game. Um, you know, we have two guys that are upper 80s type guys that have nice curveballs to go along with that. Uh, then we got Mitchell Greary, who's kind of a mid 80s type of a guy. Uh, he's, you know, just a lot of pitches, uh, curveball, changeup, knuckleball. I mean, he'll throw the kitchen sink at you. Uh, so he's he, he's extremely tough to hit. And then Chris Brindles, our lefty, who uh, doesn't qu throw quite as hard as the others. He's probably upper 70s, uh, but uh, good curveball, uh, really good off-speed stuff. I mean, he's as a lefty, keeps guys off balance and does a tremendous job. So those four guys have really, really done a fantastic job for us this year, uh, keeping us in games and. We feel like if we score a few runs, we we have an opportunity to win any given every, any given game. Was the confidence there all year? Did you see it grow at some point? Was there a key moment this year? No, I think uh, it really started to build last year. We we had a great season last year. We started out 13 and two, and we just came. You know, at the end of the season, we we just kind of hit a slump. You know, we just all of a sudden we couldn't hit. Uh, we didn't put up many runs against DV. We lost that three-game series with them. Uh, we wound up dropping four out of our last five games, but we were off to a tremendous start uh, and really had a good season and just fell apart at the end. So, you know, I think it really started last year, and this group of kids, they were hungry. Uh, they did not want to see that same thing happen again this year. Uh, so they've, they've worked really hard in the offseason, and, and I think they went into the season having a lot of confidence. Uh, we set our goal to win the district title, and, you know, that was something that they really wanted to accomplish. So, you know, I, I think they've been confident all year long. Let's talk about the, the state playoffs and, and the opportunity here for uh, for the Buckhorns. What are you looking forward to? Yeah, no, I'm just looking to go out there and play some baseball. Uh, you know, we haven't been at this point in a long, long time. Uh, somebody told me it's been, uh, I think it was 30, 36 years since the last time uh, we'd won a district title. Uh, so it's been a long time. We actually have one of our boys, uh, Tyler Kirsten. His father was on Wall and Popback's last district team. Uh, so it was a long time uh, in between, you know, district uh, uh, district championships. So you know, we certainly were very pleased to uh, have this opportunity and go on and play some more baseball. Uh, and I'm sure our guys are going to go into the state playoffs, you know, as confident as they've been all season. What's this group of kids like? Uh, talk about them off the field and then on the field, that, yeah. and you know how they bring it uh, in both places. They're very tight knit. Uh, they're a group of kids. They've been very dedicated to playing a lot of baseball. Uh, they played Legion together for many, many years at Wallen Paw Pack, uh, and they've been very committed to that. Uh, a lot of them play baseball U together or Northeast Pride together, so they're playing a lot of travel ball. But they're just a very close knit group of kids that they, they've got each other's backs. Um, you know, they're like a group of brothers, and you know, they hang out together. They uh, enjoy each other's company. Uh, so it's a very nice uh, chemistry that we have on this team. Coach, great to see you. Congratulations on the district championship. Thank you very much. Austin Gilpin joining us from the Buckhorns Wall and Pop Pack here at the Takeaway Kitchen at our Carol and Janelle. And Austin, uh, sure feels pretty darn good to be a district champ. Talk about uh, you guys uh, having the game at BNC Field and what that was like. Yeah, it feels great, uh, especially having it on the big field. Uh, big stadium, lots of pressure. Uh, we handled it well, and it, it was great to have a lot of fans out there and a lot of community support to uh, have the team at our back and we just went out there and played baseball together as a team and did what we can do and came out with the win. Good senior leadership this year. Take us through those seniors and and the camaraderie you guys have had. Yeah, we've been playing baseball together in All-Stars since we've been about 10 or 11 and we just became family since then and 
We have uh, eight seniors on the team this year who all can step up at any moment and produce. And uh, we just like showing the younger guys what to do. And even younger guys are stepping up this year as well. Coach mentioned the uh, last year you guys had a great start towards the end of the season. Kind of hit some bumps in the road. Uh, you guys got hungry, I guess, in that offseason to say we want to want to fin finish the business, I guess. Yeah, for sure. This offseason we had a lot of guys in the weight room staying late in the cages, uh, coming in early to lift. We had a few of us coming in early. And uh, we just wanted this bad, so bad. Because last year we got it cut short, and this year we wanted to redeem ourselves. Talk about your role on the team. What's coach expect of you? Uh, go out there, give it 110% every game, and uh, just always keep my head up, stay positive, and pick the teammates up when they're down. And if I'm down, have the teammates pick me up. Let's talk about the pitching staff this year. Take us through uh, the guys with the arms. Yeah, we have myself, uh, Mitchell Guerrero, Aaron Houston, Chris Brindle, and we have Derek Vosberg, as well as Adam Sands. Uh, we can all uh, go out there, and Coach can, he has faith in us every game, no matter what position he puts us in, and uh, it's always great to have. You talk about the the state playoffs now and a new opportunity. Uh, you guys just looking to go out and have fun and see what happens at this point? Yeah, exactly. It's been 30 years since we won it, so it's a new experience for us. And uh, we're happy we made it here, and now it's just going to be a fun ride. And what we do, we do, and we'll be happy no matter what. Future career. Talk about that. What's next? Yeah, uh, I'll be going to Lock Haven University to major in ecology and environmental biology and continue my baseball career and uh, at third base and pitcher at Lock Haven. All right, great PSAC school, Lock Haven University. We wish you the best. Thank you. Thank you. Mitchell Guerrero with us from the Wallapop Buckhorns uh, baseball team. And Mitchell, uh, what a year you guys have had. Let's talk about the, your year in particular individually. What did you think you did for your club? Um, I just thought I pitched well for them. Uh, went out in games, did what I needed to do. Um, I didn't hit particularly well as much as I would have liked, but I thought I did my job when, when needed, and that's, that's it. Plenty of arms uh, yeah. this year. Take us through uh, the different guys and what they bring in, in the pitching staff. Yeah, uh, like, like you said, myself, uh, Aaron Houston, Chris Brindle, AG, um, Adam Sands, a lot of guys who could throw, uh, put us in, in great games, great situations uh, to win. So, you know, just very, very happy we have guys who can go out there and compete for us. How about the seniors? Uh, we heard a little bit from Austin about the seniors. Tell me a little bit what your feel was. Uh, word we like to use is a very like tight knit I know coach said that um, like I said very not very tight knit group um, we've been together forever and just we work so well together a lot of, lot of leaders and it's just amazing like special bonds we have out there element of uh, goofiness which I think is uh, important uh, to everybody yeah. that uh, you hang you guys like to hang loose yeah. talk a little bit about just kind of having a lot of fun have a lot of fun that's the thing just, we love to have a great time but we also love to compete and go out there and win you know, it's not goofing off all the time. It's just we know when to goof off. We know when to have fun, but we know when it's time to, you know, step up and, and do something. In your eyes, talk about a couple of guys maybe that flew below the radar a little bit for the Buckhorns this year that kind of got the job done, game in and game out, practice in and practice out. Yeah, you know, Isaiah Santiago, Derek Bosberg, they, they stepped up very big this year. You know, Isaiah had um, in the district game on, uh, on Sunday, he went three for three big hits you know Derek had a great year I think he had around 19 hits a lot of RBIs he produced uh, he brought in a lot of runs for us so um, two guys had big years Adam Sands stepped up when needed um, when, he wanted, when he needed to pitch for us in some games he did when he needed to hit he was our DH you know just some guys stepped up big this year for us you guys seem like uh, you come from some great families uh, bright futures ahead of you both academically yeah. athletically uh, talk about the what you think about the families out of Walla Fall Pack that uh, kind of make everything a little bit better just very supportive um i know my my parents have been great very supportive uh, austin's parents the brindles you know just everyone's been so great we've been to get like i said we've been together together forever um just very supportive that's that's the word for it well congratulations on a fabulous year and of course best of luck at the state playoffs all right thank you so much adam sands joining us from the wall and pop pack buckhorns baseball team you're a junior adam so yes, talk sir. a little bit about uh, looking up to some of these seniors and, and, and following their lead, these guys have been together a long time. What kind of leadership do they bring? Uh, leadership is so amazing on our team. Um, ever since freshman year when I stepped on the team, a little bit intimidating, you know, a full team full of uh, sophomores that are already starting. Um, not they Didn't let them get to their head. Um, leadership has always been there, especially Chris Brindle. Chris Brindle and I have really been 
uh, friends since I, I, I originally got on this team. Uh, we've been throwing partners since my freshman year. Um, so that's been really helpful to me, to, uh, along with AG. Austin's just a great captain. Um, he's always the dad on the team, I guess you'd like to call him, and uh, we really look up to him in all aspects. Coach Malsley uh, may say, hey, Adam, this is, this is your role. This is what I need you to do. What is it? Uh, I am a DH this year. Um, I've never actually, I, I consider myself a pitcher, um, a PO most of my life. Um, but this year, he said I need you to DH for the team. Um, I really stepped into my role. Before this year, I've had one varsity at bat. Um, and then I stepped in a North Pocono game against Corey Wall, probably one of the better pitchers in, um, in, in our league. And I went three for three off of him, actually. Um, so that kind of secured my spot. And then the ongoing joke of the team this year is um, if you told anyone on the team at the beginning that Adam Sands would hit a RBI single in district finals game, every single kid on the team would laugh at me. So um, it was just a big step that I needed to, big role I needed to fill, and I feel like I did it. Talk about that confidence that you got at the plate and just you know what you did, you thought, to, to work on that and, and to how it grew. Um, confidence was a big fact in the beginning of my season. Um, I, don't, I, I never struck out a lot as a kid, um, so that was confident for me, and I just went up there and I just tried to put the bat on the ball, and really it just a, one hit fell, and then um, a group up the middle of the North Pocono game really got my confidence going, two for two, and then he stepped in the box, and you're two for two off one of the best pitchers in the league, and it, it really just grown from there. Talk about the support you get from your family. Uh, and oh, my mom, I, I was on varsity last year, didn't see a single inning um, the entire year. My mom was still there um, every single game. She didn't, she never missed an out, an inning, um, and really that just means a lot. And my grandparents, uh, actually from Old Forge, were interviewing today. Um, big fans, always there, and it means the world to me. As far as your hunger, talk a little bit about last year, as you said, not seeing a varsity moment. Uh, what did you say to yourself to say, hey, I want to be a part of this team. I want to make a little bit more of an impact. Yeah, um, last year with two, only two seniors uh, leaving, it, it, the hunger was there for me. Um, there's only two spots. Most years you get teams five, six, seven starters go, and you're like, oh, I just kind of fill into one of those roles. Um, but there was a high competition, especially in the offseason. Um, we were always working to compete against each other. Um, Derek Bosberg, Isaiah Santiago, and I, we all kind of competed against each other. As we wanted to, we knew we, there was two spots, and somehow we made three, but um, it all worked out because we, we were fighting against each other, making ourselves better every single day, and that, that competition led to success, I think. As far as uh, your, your defense, let's talk about that, whether infield, outfield, a couple of shining spots on the team that you see. Um, I think it's our infield. Um, I think AG does a great job at third base, and then TK, um, outstanding short, shortstop middle infielder, and even now playing third base, um, he really takes on the role of being a utility player. Um, he doesn't doesn't say anything about where he wants to play. He's actually excited to play third base now. At the beginning of the year, he was kind of like, I don't know if I want to play there. Um, he stepped in that role and said, listen, I, I want to play third base. Get me some more innings there. I need more experience at practice now. He's taking ground balls at third base. Um, and then I think our outfield, Morgan Theobald, runs the outfield and center field. And he, there's no balls in the gap that fall too much. Um, he'll, he'll run to right field and say, listen, I got it. Call Derek Vosberg off and say, let me get the ball. Let's hit right at him. Um, I think that's something completely that there's no holes in our defense, which is something I really like. In the state playoffs, I'm sure you'll be facing some great pitching. Uh, it'll be a game-by-game -game approach. But what do you think you guys have to maybe get over the hump in, in any particular game? Do you feel like... You have enough hitting to get by yeah. or enough pitching to make it happen? Um, I think what really makes us special is our um, six through nine batters. Um, our, our one through five is outstanding, but actually our six through nine is a little bit more underrated. We see a lot more fastballs. Um, Chris Brindle, Isaiah, Mitch and I, we all see a lot of fastballs, um, usually right down the middle. And we, we tend to jump on those pitches and then we just flop the lineup right back over to our one, two, three hitters. And Derek Bosberg's doing a great job in the three spot, just producing RBIs, producing runs. Um, Lots of hits, hit and runs he's great with. So things like that. It's just kind of getting that lineup um, back to the top that's really important to us. Well, fabulous season. I hope it keeps going one game at a time. Good luck. Thank you, sir. Tyler Kirsten with us from the Wallapack Buckhorns uh, baseball team. And uh, Tyler, let's talk about your role this year on the team. Well, you know, it's as pitchers go in, I'm kind of the guy that fills in spots. Uh, mainly second baseman when I shortstop. Mitchell Guerrero pitches I play short. Austin Gilkey pitches I play third. And that's kind of... That's my role, the two hitter. Uh, you know, it's 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 a big job, and I take pride in uh, taking care of it. Talk about the senior leadership this year, and, and you being one of the juniors, a couple juniors starting. But uh, talk about some of those those seniors and the job they've done as leaders. Well, they're all great leaders. I mean, they've been leaders for so long, being uh, have been playing with them for so long. It's just 
you know, they're always there for us. They're always getting on us. They're always keeping us focused. They're always just always there for us whenever we need them. Baseball-wise, uh, guys can play, and they've been playing for a long time. Pretty good at fris Frisbee out here in the parking lot, too. Talk about different things you guys try to do to just kind of keep things light, like uh, like it seems. Right, well, after all, it's baseball is a game, we all have fun. That's one thing we always uh, focus on, is just having fun. Like, if you get too too focused, not too focused, but like too, too uptight, that, that just... That doesn't lead to good things. But if you're focused, light, having fun, then it's just it's, it's the game after. How about the fun at PNC Field when you guys beat Crestwood? Talk a little bit about what that night was like and what it was like to play on the field. It was awesome. It was a great experience playing on a field like that, watching professional baseball players play there and being able to play there. It's, it was definitely one of the greatest experiences I've, been, I've had. Um, it's definitely something I'm going to remember, especially winning there and such a big game like that. It's, it was awesome more than three decades ago for a district championship in baseball. Um, you guys will be a team that people will remember for some time. Talk a little bit about how special that feels for you guys. That's It's definitely an honor having it be so long since we've had an accomplishment like this. Um, it's It just feels good for all of us knowing that we're part of ball ball back history now. It's, it's just great. Well, we wish you the best in the state playoffs. Congratulations on a great year. Thank you. Chris Brindle joining us at the Takeaway Kitchen here at our Carol and Janelle and Old Forge of Pizza Capital of the World. And uh, Chris, congratulations. Fabulous year. Um, Thank you. What was the difference this year for the Buckhorns? Pitching. Pitching was definitely the key to the district title this year. We had one through five. We had pitchers that could throw any given day. Take us through the whole staff uh, pitching and each person the strengths and uh, what they bring. So we have Aaron Hewson, who is committed to UMBC. Very hard thrower, good curveball. Uh, he was one of our main starters this year. We also have Austin Gilpin going to Lock Haven University. Very good pitcher as well, throws very hard. Mitchell Guerrero mixes the ball up, you know, has a lot of different pitches. Uh, I threw a little bit this year, and we also had some other crafty lefties along with myself, uh, Derek Bosberg and Adam Sands. Well, having that pitching is, is such a key, but you need some bats uh, in those tight games. Talk about a, a couple of bats this year in the lineup. Oh, definitely our leadoff batter, Morgan Theobald. He, uh, I think he batted close to 500 this year. He killed the ball. Uh, Tyler Kirsten, another one that killed the ball. You know, one through four, we had guys that were just hitting the ball probably close to 400, if not above it. Max cool. Alessi, Derek Bosberg. One of your other guys said, hey, six through nine, we're not too shabby. We kind of surprised some people. Yeah, you know, we, we definitely hit the ball well this year. We put some runs up. Uh, we had a strong line of one through nine. I'd say that we definitely uh, worked hard in the offseason and it showed during the season. Let's talk about Coach Smallsley and, and the coaching staff and what they tried to do with you guys. They said you guys were hungry after last season. Yeah. So that's on you. How about on them? What did they do to try to make sure you guys were going to peak at the right time? Well, they definitely got us prepared during the offseason. We would have two to three days. We'd go in the auxiliary gym at our high school, have a batting practice in there. We would pitch. We, we definitely practiced a lot during the offseason. And then during the season, they pushed us every day during practice to make sure that we were you know, not goofing off, really focused through every practice. As far as uh, little things, talk about some little things this year with this Buckhorn baseball team you think that maybe made a difference along the way? I definitely think that it's just that we're all such a tight-knit group. You know, we're a real uh, family uh, on the baseball field. We all play together, and we're all so close off the baseball field that I think it really helped us to propel us to the district championship. Little things in the state playoffs, a bunt, you know, a throw out from here or there. Uh, throwing strikes will be a difference, making a play in the outfield. Right. Uh, talk about the, having guys that have that experience since you guys have played together so long. That, uh, that'll feel pretty good, and I'm sure you feel pretty confident with your group to know that no matter who we play, uh, we're going to give it our best shot. Right. I think we have seven returning starters from last year. Uh, we have like 12 seniors on the team, so we definitely have a strong group of leaders that's coming back. Uh, I feel like we just were very experienced and we're just ready for the playoffs in state. Next step for you, uh, where are you headed after uh, high school? I'll be uh, going to pitch at Penn State Harrisburg. All right, well, another Penn State Harrisburg guy here in Northeastern Pennsylvania. We wish you the best of luck and uh, Thank congratulations. You. Thank you again. Morgan Theobald joining us from the Wall and Pompack Buckhorns baseball team. And uh, Morgan, uh, some of your teammates had some nice things to say about you. So uh, let's return the favor. Give us a, a handful of guys uh, this year that you felt were on the radar and obviously one through nine, everybody says we're great, but uh, give us a handful in through your eyes who played well. 
overall, I think, uh, like you said, one through nine, uh, from uh, Tyler Kirsten, second base, uh, Austin Gilpin at third base and on the mound, as seen in the uh, championship game the other night at PNC, uh, Mitchell Greer, Chris Brindle, Adam Sands, Max Alessi, uh, Ty Holbert, all different amount of these guys. Uh, so we play so well together, and uh, we've had Isaiah Santiago, a freshman, uh, coming in in the big stage from middle school. I think that's one of the hardest things to do, especially at this age. Um, uh, Zach Moldecker, another guy, um, junior, plays outfield, comes in, gets some big hits for us during the season. Um, and we have uh, just our pitching staff is phenomenal. As I'm sure everybody else has said. Uh, and everyone contributes in that in that way too. I talked to a guy earlier who said, "Listen, I didn't even play last year, and I'm on the radar this year. I'm DH, and there's going to be other guys next year when this whole big senior class moves on. What do you think those guys are learning from this group? And and they'll hit the field as uh, as Buckhorns, and yeah. they're hoping to have success as well. I think they learn. Um, you know, there's a time and a place for everybody. Um, I know my freshman year. You know, when you get to high school, you're, you want to, you really want to play, and you know that may not happen right away. And um, I feel like so many guys have been so respectful, not only to uh, the players but the coaches, and just trusting the process, and um, just you know having their spot. Um, like you said, um, Adam Sands, DH, he came in and he and he did a great job DH for us this year. Ty Holbert was big for defense for us this year. Um, Chris Brindle bring on the mound this year. He uh, got a lot more pitching this year. Um, and just like I said, Zach Moldecker came in, had some big hits for us during the season. Uh, and I think that's what's really special about this team is that guys can come in at any point when they're asked and uh, really get the job done. Morgan, talk about your family support there for you, whether it's academics, athletics, driving you around, taking your places yeah. to make sure that you're going to be your best. Yeah. Um, I'm in debt for my lifetime and for my parents. Um, traveled all over the East Coast for a travel, um, and I am really, really grateful to say that uh, they're the reason I'm playing in college. Uh, you know, you spend thousands of dollars on travel ball, which is the price you pay, I guess. But um, yeah, my parents have been supporting me ever since I was little, whatever I do, um, and uh, they are the reason I am who I am today. Coaching staff probably uh, might not get too much credit. Uh, they give the credit to the kids and yeah. saying, great group of kids, they want it, they work hard. How about for you guys to repay it and say what the coaches did for you guys? Coach Smalls and Coach Lenz have been always been there for us. Uh, even before we were in, um, in high school, I know uh, Coach Lenz is a uh, gym teacher over at the middle school and Coach Smalls is a math teacher over at the middle school and uh, over right there, you, you just uh, we looked up to them younger um, and we were in the weight room in the winter all the time they were working on us to be better um, and they just really formed us into the team who we are today and uh, we're that we are where we are because of them and we're really grateful to them one of the things just seeing you guys for 30 minutes here is you guys know how to have fun oh yeah yeah we uh, we try to make the most of every situation no matter where we are um, and we, we've been playing with each other for so long ever since we were younger um, I know after the district game the other night uh, what's the parents saying you know we knew it since you guys were younger that you know, we've had we've had this talent kind of built up, and uh, I'm really grateful to say I, I've played. <laughs> I played. These guys are running around right now outside. <laughs> but I'm really, I'm really, really blessed and honored to have these guys as my brothers because uh, it's, they're going to be people I carry with me throughout my lifetime. Morgan, great to catch up with you. Congratulations you. on a district championship. Thank you very much, John.